everybody, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm going to talk about the rumor that Ryan Gosling, yes, that Ryan Gosling, is being eyed to be the villain of the Thunderbolts and the villain of the Thunderbolts. While I can't, while no one can confirm this, there's a good chance he's either going to be Sentry or Hyperion. And either way, that's fucking insane. First of all, um, both of those characters are characters that are kind of riffs on Superman. Marvel has a couple characters that are riffs on Superman. Those two are real riffs, especially Hyperion, because Hyperion's like literally from another planet, and he kind of blew it up. Depending on which version of Hyperion you're talking about. Like many comics, um, there are many different versions of many different characters. I talked about that with my Namor. Um, when, when I was talking about Namor, like there are just many, many different comic book versions of certain characters. But, like, Hyperion, he's hardcore. And he's the leader of the Squadron Supreme. And the Squadron Supreme is, is a riff on the Justice League. I almost want to see them do that just to see it. Like, but I don't know, man. Squadron's pretty tough. Like, Squadron can whoop, whoop the Avengers' ass. So I don't know about the Thunderbolts. But this is an interesting idea. Now, if some of you know this and some of you don't. But the original idea for James Gunn's Superman, it wasn't supposed to be Starro. The Suicide Squad was supposed to be going after Superman. That was the original idea. Idea. That was the original concept. Like, that's what was supposed to happen. So, it seems like Marvel is sort of doing that. Um, there's many ways they can handle this. But as the question that a lot of people are probably asking, especially once I post up the video, how in the hell is the Thunderbolt, the way they're constructed, supposed to stop a Superman-like character? I... Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure myself. I, like, I don't know. If, like, I, I'm start, I kind of believe it's true. But I kind of, but I, what I think is going to happen is, it's going to be something at the end. What I think is going to happen is, is whenever Hyperion or Sentry show up, it's going to be like the MacGuffin. Like, we're not going to know while we're watching the movie that that's what's at the end. We're just going to know that they have to stop something. They have to stop, like, like a missile. It's going to be like a, um an old school um mission like they're the black mission we have to stop this m these missiles or something it's gonna be like <laughs> i hate to say it but it's gonna be kind of like the suicide squad in the way you know because the suicide squad was basically like james Gunn's one was like that they just thought they had to stop a project but they didn't really know what the fuck the project they just it's just starfish you know they're just like we don't they start like no one really knew what the project was they know it was a giant fucking sentient parasitic starfish they didn't know it was that shit you know they just thought you know oh we're destroying this thing and that'll be the wrap of this whole situation bing bang boom bob's your uncle that's it no man it turned out to be something bigger i think that's going to be the approach with the thunderbolts is we're going to be led to believe that it's something simple that it's nothing big that that oh they're just out here they'll probably even have a placeholder villain they'll have a villain maybe a smaller villain maybe it'll be zemo who's the villain, and we'll think that it's the Thunderbolts versus Zemo, and, you know, whatever Zemo's doing, and then by the time it gets near the tail end, it's gonna be like, what the fuck? Century? Or Hyperion? Like, it's gonna be a crazy situation by the time it gets to the tail end of the movie. But in the beginning, it's gonna be this old-school, like, special special task force unit like a weapon like an x-force who are going on this mission to take out this person this person they got to take out bing bang and done and it's going to be like oh shit this person's here but i got a feeling what's going to happen too is if they go with the hyperion or the century thing i think it's going to be something along where they're going to be like what's the word i'm looking for they're going to be held by the government Hell, lock and key. Because um, someone said this before on a, on a, not one of my videos, but I saw it on a video, that the that there's a theme for this Thunderbolts team. If you see it, you know it. Which is trauma. Which is every single member of this team, except for, you know, some except for one woman <laughs> who we just saw in Black Panther, um, every single member of this team are people who were ruined, corrupted by the government, used by a bigger power, manipulated brainwashed even every member of this team are people who were shoot up and spit out by their respective um governments and whatnot all of them are people dealing with trauma and loss and pain they're all very complicated people in fact a couple of them 
started off as villains. So all of them have dealt with shit and they all have a, a darker edge to them because of the stuff they've done. Because of the stuff they've done and because of the stuff they've seen. All of them are killers. And not in the same way that Captain America or Iron Man or Thor are killers. All of them have killed in cold blood. All of them know what it is to be used by a bigger power and then being destroyed by that bigger power. Being, being molded by that bigger power until you don't recognize who you are. All of them have that in common. Even Red Guardian has that in common. For crying out loud, he did everything he could for Russia and he got thrown in a fucking gulag. So all of them have that in common. All of them. And I have a feeling that if they do do Sentry or um, Hyperion, that that's going to be something that happens. That they're not even going to actually beat him. They're gonna, he's going to relate to them and he's either going to join their team or he's going to just take off. One or the other. They might have both. Could you imagine that if they had Hyperion and Sentry in here and they just started fighting each other? I mean, I remember my friend Seth, he had a theory that they were going to turn Icarus into Hyperion, but I don't know. I don't think they're going to do that. Um, of course, the question would be if the government ke is keeping him locked tight, which, to be fair, in the, no, in the comics, Sentry, Sentry's nuts, though. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sentry's crazy, dude. Century, Century's intense. I remember when I read um, the Avengers, New Avengers comic, first time I ever seen Century. All, all his shit's crazy. The things with the void and everything about Century is batshit insane, dude. I mean, he's a little batshit insane too. But I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I kind of like. I kind of like. Maybe I'm hoping I'm not piecing together my own story because. I, like, that's been the problem with a lot of the things with the MCU is people write their own stories and write what they want to see in their heads. And then when it isn't that, and then they kind of do this thing where they're like, well, if it's not better than what was in my brain, if it's not if it's not that much better than what was in my brain, then you should have just done what was in my brain. Or, like, like, like that's just how people have kind of been with the recent MCU films. It's like, if it's not much better than what I was thinking, I don't even want to talk about it. And I, I disagree. I disagree with that. You know, so I'm trying not to write a story in my head and then get to the movie or see the trailer and it's not that. So in my brain, but in my brain, I see this story being a story where they have a central villain and a secret villain who turns out not to be really a villain villain. He's being manipulated and either he joins the Thunderbolts or he takes off in outer space. One or the other. Um, either way... Um, I do think Zemo is going to be in this. I do think Zemo is going to be in this. And like I said, I do think they are going to approach it like James Gunn's Thunder, I mean, James Gunn, um, Suicide Squad, where it starts off one way, but the time it gets to the end, you're like, what the fuck just happened? Like, they weren't, like, it's going to be, they weren't hired for this mission to take on super, a Superman being. They are hired to do a simple thing on a mission that escalated to insanity. But that is my thoughts on Ryan Gosling, who is a great actor, and I can't wait to see him. I've always wanted Ryan Gosling to either be Johnny Johnny Blaze or fucking or Richard Ryder. I've always wanted him to be Nova, but you know, if you know, we'll see. We'll see. Either way, I really want Ryan Gosling in the MCU. I really want every big time actor to take a take one of these roles in the MCU. But Ryan Gosling, man, like He's one of my favorite actors. He really is. I love. Every, I love everything about that dude. It's not fair to be that to be that handsome, that talented in acting and funny, and you can play the piano and sing. Like what the fuck, dude? Come on, come on, Ryan. Stop. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for coming to the movie show. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. What do you think of Hyperion or Century being the villains of the Thunderbolts or the secret villain? My opinion of the Thunderbolts. Thank you guys again. See you on the next one.